Hey guys and welcome to Gontu series. In the earlier tutorial, we saw a simple demo explaining the concept of a Bean Factory Post Processor in Spring's framework. I simply wrote a custom Bean Factory Post Processor and in the end of the tutorial, I said that Spring offers some ready-made Bean Factory Post Processors. And this tutorial is all about understanding a property placeholder configure. A property placeholder configure allows you to provide a properties value mentioned in the Springs configuration file from an external properties file. For example, if you observe here, I've defined a property with the name welcome node and provided its value here only in the Springs configuration file. So the value of welcome node is hi and welcome to our restaurant. Now the same task you can perform in a little different way. So using the concept of property placeholder configure, what you can do is you can provide this value in an external properties file. So how this concept works in real life projects and everything related to this, let's understand using this simple demo. This demo I've used in almost all of my previous Spring series of tutorials. So what I've done here is I've created a restroom class, a Spring configuration file and a test class. In the restroom class, there's a property welcome note and I set a method to it and there is a greet customer function which just prints the value of welcome note property on the console when we call this function and the value of welcome note property is coming from here from springs configuration file and this is simply the test class where we are just calling this greet customer function which is there in the restaurant class. Now to use the concept of property placeholder configure, what we'll do, we'll provide this value of welcome node in a separate properties file. So let's create an external properties file. Go to the source, new file, so provide here the name. I've given it a name spring.properties. You may give any name which you like. So I've provided here spring.properties. You may give any name, say abc.properties or any good name. So what I'll do now is I'll provide this value in spring.properties file. So I'll do that. First, let me remove this value. So I've removed its value and instead of that, I have provided a string using this syntax. Now in spring.properties, I'll provide the value for this string. So let me do that. So here, I provided the value for welcome note here. This value is coming from spring.properties file. So at runtime, what spring will do, it will just replace this string's value from spring.properties before initializing any bean from this spring configuration file. So I have done my task. I provided the value of welcome node property in spring.properties. Now this one important task which is remaining. I will need to convey spring framework that I have included a properties file in Spring project and I'm going to provide some of my properties value there. So for that, what I need to do is I need to include a bean with the name property placeholder configure in Spring's configuration file. And in it, I will need to provide the path for Spring.properties. So in short, what I've done here is I have included a Spring.properties, provided the value of welcome node, here I've included this bean and provided in it the location of spring.properties from my project. Now everything is set and ready. Let's run this application. Right. So this has displayed the value of welcome node which is coming from spring.properties. This value is coming from spring.properties file. So using such a concept of property placeholder configure, what you do is you just externalize the property values from your Spring's configuration file in your bean definitions in a separate external properties file. In real life applications, this concept may prove very handy and useful. For example, this will enable the person deploying an application to customize environment specific properties such as database URLs and passwords without the complexity or risk of modifying the main XML definition file or any other files for the Spring container. 
guys feel free to ask questions or provide your feedback comments below this video or you simply email me your queries on this email i'll try to answer them as soon as possible please like this video if it really helped you and i'll catch you in my next tutorial